come as you are, as you were. It's not hard enough. Oops, I'm not. I just put music in one of my videos. You better come and get me. I'm really scared. No. Okay. All right. How's it going, guys? Um, I'm going to get my paycheck because it's Friday and it's a good day. I'm gonna be buying vacation paycheck too. You just basically get paid for not going to work. Ain't that America? I don't know. I guess they have that in other countries too. I don't know. I don't remember if anybody ever. I remember asking that, but I don't even check my comments these days. Like I'm so bad about that. I need to get back to it, man. On the way home from work today, I checked my PO box and uh, there was some stuff in there. <laughs> so I'm gonna show it to you when we get home. Um, but uh, I don't want to use it for too long because the battery is pretty low, and I don't want to. Speaking of batteries, going to Chuck Conroy and have some time with his, huh? Uh, yeah. Cock, please. Yeah, I gotta put up some more Family Feud. Well, I just put up Family Feud, actually, on Blip TV. A couple episodes yesterday. Ooh, we got... Baby, baby, ooh, baby. Oh, we got a rummage sale? Wow, that's a nice fancy sign for a rummage sale. I thought they were having that yesterday. I should stop by more rummage sales. You never know what you can pick up with those things. Valuable stuff. Somebody might have Earthbound out there or something. I didn't fart, it wasn't me. Don't look at me. You can check my underwear for proof. Right, then I'll go home and change. Never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. No, kidding. Ah, here we are. I suppose I can show you the store in all its glory. Yep, that's the store. Have I ever actually shown that to you? I mean, I don't know. Going here. Uh, usually, I pull out the other side. I guess they're almost done with this uh, this roundabout over here. They said that the construction was going to be from May to November, but they didn't really start on it until June. So, I, I mean, I guess they don't have to have it done by November because it's going to be snowing pretty soon. And it's like, oh no! All right, I'm going to pull in right here. Yeah, and then we got this like bio retention area over here. Like, I don't know what this is. But it's nasty. I wouldn't go swimming in that. Banjo Kazooie can swim in it all they want, not me. Oh, uh, you didn't see that. You didn't see what I was doing just now. Okay, so to show you those two things I got in the post office box this morning, I stopped by and check this out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need to like set up a wall, I think, and put all my fan art up on the wall because. It would just be so cool to have all these pictures to remind me, you know, how how loved I am. And this, it's awesome, man. This is so cool. I mean, the fact that people sit down and do this for... I, mean, I never showed you half of some of the other stuff that's been sent to me. I really should. Um, I also got a card from, uh... Well, let's see. Jesse Thompson. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the name on Facebook. Yeah, sure enough, he sent me a uh, card. All happy, all smiles, all grateful. He opened it up and says, all because of you. I was just, oh, I, I don't mean to be so corny or anything, but the note he wrote in this is so, it was just one of the nicest things I've ever read. I mean, I would read it to you myself, but it, it's kind of, it would be more special if I didn't, because then that way he and I are like the only ones who knows what it says, you know, and we keep that sort of connection, I guess, I don't know. Anyway, his YouTube ID is Jess T666, J-E-S-S-T-666, the other guy was, uh, I don't think, uh, did he tell me what he buddy? Rock Band 3333. Uh, let's see, let's see if that's right. Rock Band. Whoa, I didn't realize you were a Mario Paint Composer fanatic. Awesome. I had no idea. Yeah, I just wanted to send you this to show my appreciation. Oh, now I'm reading this one. Uh, for all you've done, you've inspired 46,000 people, including me. You're awesome, kind, positive. You're always there for me. Hope you like the picture on the back. He has love the shades. Oh, speaking of the shades, where are they? Oh, I don't have them. They're over there in the chair. Yeah, okay, you know that rummage sale that I passed on the way home and I said I should check it out? Well, I checked it out on the way home and I picked up some stuff. I picked up a tape player. Yes, it works too. I tested it out and it actually works. Here, listen. Uh, oh shit. Oh shit. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, where's the stop button? Oh, I don't, I don't know this thing very well. I'll stop this thing. Sorry. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. The tape was just stuck a little bit. I thought it ate the whole thing or something. 
Anyway, well, I didn't realize there was actually a tape in there when I bought it. It's probably a good thing the tape didn't play, because then I would have music in my video and I'd get in trouble for that. Not that I don't already have music at the beginning of this video when I'm singing Nirvana in the car. It's uh, Debbie Gibson, Electric Youth, which uh, my dad and sister both had this album at some point in their lives. And uh, not so long ago on Muzak at work, they were playing um, Only In My Dreams. I don't see that on here. Wasn't Only In My Dreams by Debbie Gibson. That might be a different album. Anyway, Lost In Your Eyes, Who Loves You, Baby. I don't know. I know Electric Youth a little bit, but I'm like, it's probably been like a 15 years since I've heard it. Or maybe 20. Anyway, well, I'm, I'm not sure how my hair looks today, as long as it's covering my big ass forehead. Because, you know, I got a forehead like a drive in movie theater. Now, the last thing I really wanted to talk about on this video, and I'm just going to go ahead and, hey, wait a minute, what happened to my Triforce? <laughs> Try horse. <laughs> People wanted me to call the horse Try Horse. Yeah, this thing almost came apart. Uh, let me put that back together again. Do -do -do -do. I still don't know who did this. Like, I think it might actually be somebody from work. I think I said that already. I don't remember. Whatever. Well, dang it, I forgot. Oh, I was talking about Chugga Conroy. Um, Chugga Conroy just recently became a partner on YouTube. And, uh, that's pretty badass. I had a couple people asked him, like, what do I think about that? Well, I think it's awesome, actually. I mean, shit, sure. that, that's a huge step. You know, we already saw Josh Jefferson become a partner, and now it's Chuck Conroy. It makes me wonder who's next. I'm not saying I'm next, I don't know, because I'm, I mean, I don't have any delusions of that happening for me. I'm a pit sweep next to him. But, still, I think, I think it's just cool that it's happening for LPers out there, because, you know, I don't really, I don't really want to bring the whole case down here and act like I can solve it for everybody. But I just think that, generally speaking, gameplay videos with commentary over them don't really count as gameplay anymore, you know? It's like if you go to the store and you buy a DVD of Back to the Future. I was just farting it. I said Back to the Future now. <sighs> if you go to the store and buy a DVD of Back to the Future, and you take it home and you put it in and there's somebody talking over the movie, uh, I, I would venture to say that you would probably return that DVD to the store. Why would you do that? Why would you return the DVD to the store? Because it loses its value. Because it has no value as a DVD anymore. The movie is not there. You can't watch the movie and take anything from it because you'd be distracted by that person talking over the movie. And it's the same thing with gameplay with commentary. You put the commentary over it, it, it loses its value as gameplay. Unless, of course, you're playing an RPG and you don't talk over the cutscenes, then I suppose maybe, you know, that's getting into fishy territory there because if you're playing a game that's like a movie, and you're leaving all those scenes in and not talking over them, then I could see how that could be construed as giving something away for free. But I don't know, there, there's so many gameplay videos out there as it is that don't have commentary over them, you know, and if, if they're not getting in trouble, then I don't see why we should when we're actually, you know, taking the value. I don't know. I don't want to make it sound like that's good that we're taking the value away from the gameplay, but but I just don't think that it's, I don't see how you can argue that it still has any value as gameplay or that someone who, I mean, why would somebody watch a video of gameplay anyway? You know, what would they be using it for? They'd probably be using it for a walkthrough, but then, you know, IGN has walkthroughs. You know, they don't get in trouble for that, even though they're posting material from the game, possible spoilers, where all the items are. I mean, those are the puzzles, you know, that's why you pay money for the game, is because you want to solve the puzzles. And if somebody's out there with the solutions up online somewhere, you know, that kind of takes the value away from the puzzle, but it's okay. You know, nobody has any problem with it. I guess because eventually, well, you give up. Well, then again, I guess if you buy a puzzle book, they do put the answers at the end, so, you know, you can look them up if you just don't feel like it anymore. But I've never heard of anybody actually getting in trouble for, you know, it's like they say emulators are illegal too, but I've never heard of anybody actually going to jail for using one. And, you know, the, how many times have I gotten messages from people saying they bought a game on the Wii Shop channel because they saw my LP of it? I mean, there's no way you could possibly argue that I'm cutting into the sales or giving people something so they don't have to pay for it. There's no way. Because they're not getting anything out of the video because they can't control it. I mean, the appeal of the video game is to be able to control what's happening, and you can't do that when you're watching someone else play it. The only thing you get out of watching someone else play it is possibly spoilers. You see something before... You know, and if that's the only reason people play games is because of what they can see, 
you know, or here in the game. I mean, there's so much more to it than that. You know, and those are the things that you can't give a person across YouTube that, you know, th those things will always be preserved in the game, and the person will still go out and get the game because they'll still get that part of it. You know, the gameplay factor, they'll still get that. They might just know how to do stuff better because they haven't watched you play it, but still. But, but we're not taking the gameplay away from anybody. It's, I don't know, that's just, that's just me. That's just my take on it. So people are coming and saying that Chucky Connell is selling out, but... <laughs> I don't see how he. I don't see how you can say he's selling out and not any other partner on YouTube. I mean, every 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 single partner on YouTube is selling out by the same logic. And yeah, why is why should it be any different for him? Well, I, th I think I'm going to go and stop the video there because uh, we're getting way over time here. Okay, no more combing the hair. We're not combing the hair, and we're not cutting it either. We'll keep cutting the nose hair. I'm going to go back to cutting my nose hair now. So see you later.